Wow guys, great to see you again! So glad you came back! Today we are doing Jurassic World! The game episode 10 and we just got a Tapajera! Well, that guy looks pretty cool with that big spike on his head. And guys, uh, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you guys click thumbs up under the video. That helps me a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and place this guy. Awesome! Okay, let's see. What is our next? Okay, these are what I have in the dino market ready to hatch. Some of these guys take a long time, like that Dunkless Taurus, that uh, second fish looking guy there. I mean, it's three days. And I got another rare one that is right now that it's four days. And I mean, if you want to speed up the four day one, it's like a thousand dollars not coins thousand dollars so it's like really expensive so you basically have to wait the five days okay for that paleontologist mission uh wanted five sorry guys i noticed this after i recorded uh my recording software went kind of crazy here so from here it's like you're gonna only see about half the action i mean just telling you up front i mean i'm not sure if you want to skip this video i mean there's some good battles here but it's only showing part of it so it's gonna get kind of confusing okay so here i got my uh tapajera Actually, my along one, well, sorry. I, th I believe it's against the Tapajera. So I'm gonna bring in my Triceratops because they're good against flying creatures. Uh, sorry guys, I, I'm, re I'm actually recording this narration after I recorded the video. So it's... I can't really tell you what what things I'm using in battle right now unless I see it so I really apologize about that but there is some cool battles here so if you guys could stick through it I'd really appreciate it I believe this is the only video that it did that in okay so here they brought their uh, I think that's their Tapajara they brought back which oh they switched out for a uh, water creature, which would kill my herbivore, like right there. Triceratops, so now I got a flying creature, really good against water creatures. So, I could probably take this guy out. Like I said, I really apologize about the recording software. Okay, so I did take him out. My Alonqua took him out, so they're going to send in a flying creature, which if I had an herbivore, that'd be the best against him. But, uh, yeah, he took out my Alonqua. Okay, so I've got my meat eater, my mon Monolophosaurus. Monolophosaurus, this guy is awesome. But he is a rare dinosaur, so it's really expensive to get another one if you want to, uh, evolve him and you can't get another one to like level I think 30 or something okay so I beat that battle I got this guy like I said I really apologize okay so that was probably the coolest sarcus huh. okay, so I don't have an incubator ready for him Okay, complete battle stage 11. For a next stop, I'm taking you. Okay, to the control room. So like I said, I'm not sure if you guys want to uh, just skip this or... I mean, like I said, I really apologize. I did not catch that the recording software is only recording part of the screen but I mean I'd appreciate it if you guys stuck around I mean that'd be awesome because like I said there still is some cool battles even though you can't see everything 
Okay, collect from a building, collect from a dinosaur with a bonus. I believe that was 4%. Okay, have a pterosaur at level 15 or higher. Basically, a flying dinosaur, so I collected that one. Uh, Made Man, I collected that one. So, here he's asking Mr. Masrani how he became a billionaire. Like I said, guys, stick around for the other videos because I corrected the problem. So I believe this is the only video that has that problem. So, okay, I could collect my mystery pack. And that's another thing, guys. Uh, collect your mystery packs. You could collect a uh, common mystery pack every six hours. So uh, make sure you guys log in every six hours, collect that mystery pack, and you got some really cool dinosaurs in there. I mean, you wouldn't believe some of the ones you get. And good money, DNA. Usually they'll have like a different mission in there where you could collect more money or more DNA. Okay, have a dinosaur level 21 or higher. I got that. Okay, so we passed into level 12. Like I said on the other video, uh, make sure you guys expand your park at the beginning of every level. Because that's when it's the cheapest. Which, boy, I wish I would have known that at the beginning. I would have been able to expand my park a lot, a lot easier. Okay, so this guy's cool. He's sleeping. Go ahead and wake him up. Feed him. Sorry about the cutoff. I, I do, uh, in episode 12, I visit all my dinosaurs and feed them and show you all my dinosaurs. So, make sure you guys check that one out, too. Because that, that's a really cool one. And like I said, keep your meat uh, facilities going. I mean, you gotta create meat all the time because that's how you power up your dinosaurs uh, meat I mean you're not going anywhere okay have a pterosaur at level 15 have five herbivores one more herbivore okay what's next Still waiting on that one. One day, 18 hours left. That was a... Uh, <laughs> Sorry about the internet search there, guys. Okay, so what's our next move? Building up coins, decorations. Like I said in the future though, all the ACU towers and like the coffee shops and stuff, I replace with power generators. So level, that would be episode... I believe 14. I believe 14. I'll, I'll show you guys all my power generators and the dinosaurs. Okay, so this is Battle Stage 12. Majungasaurus, Carnotaurus, Monolophosaurus. That Monolophosaurus is awesome. Really glad I got that guy. Okay, so here I got my Majungasaurus. Uh, he's at like level 30 here. And level him up one more that's where he gets all the spikes he's at a maximum level because uh in the future you will see i believe on episode 13 or 14 uh 
I've got him leveled up to uh, maximum 40. He's got some really cool spikes on him. So, like I said, I mean, I apologize that you can't really see much of the action here. If I could go back and re-record it, I would. But this game doesn't let you go backwards, it's forward. So I got my Carnotaurus here, so you got a good look at him. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to my, my Monoluchosaurus. Because I am against the uh, Stegosaurus Plant Eater, so... Ooh. Man. Got him good there. I can't see how much, but usually when they show the blood flying like that... You really got him good. Oh, he took me out! Wow! Okay... So, let's see now. Oh! He's down! He's down! Victory! Yeah! My Carnotaurus is celebrating! Okay, received 30 DNA, super rare, Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is also an awesome herbivore. Uh, he is expensive because he's rare, so you're going to have a hard time evolving him. But I got mine at level 10, and he is awesome in battles. Okay, so, my next move. Okay. So, go ahead and collect this guy. The coolest suitcase. Go ahead and place him. Oh, that's not gonna work. Gotta expand my park! Like I said, beginning of every level, which I did not know until I reached, like, I was level 12 or 13 before I found that out, so... That is really important. Because you run out of room quickly. Okay, huh. What structures do I want to buy? Power generator is a bit out of my reach now. Yeah. Yeah, see I got my meat my meat facility going there pretty much all the time. Okay, so here I am back. It looks like the screen is back to normal guys. So, in the battles, it should be back to normal size. So, that's a good thing. See here how you got the dollar things? Those buildings are maxed out. I should have been collecting those because they give you, like, uh, times. Like, the, let's say, the coffee shop. Every hour, it'll be at maximum. So, if you don't collect it every hour, it's just sitting there at maximum. You are not receiving cash every hour you only receive cash once you collect it and then it builds back up again okay
<laughs> so he's building up the uh, hybrid dinos. So I gotta place a newly hatched carnivore. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't have any ready to hatch. Problem. See, my battle's back to normal. So awesome! Here we go! Watch the classes, guys. So, uh, flying does great against water creatures, so you see, they're, they're gonna, uh, switch out dinos, more than likely. They'll do a dino swap. Oh, this guy's actually attacking. Okay. That's a little surprising. So... Just take this guy out, attack of three. Yeah, I'm sacrificing my flying creature because my Tapujera. Because this next one more than likely will just wipe it out. Herbivores have high damage against flying creatures. But meat eaters have much higher damage against herbivores. So let's see. So watch your classes, guys. Class is a huge. See, look at that. Three attack, 365 damage. Okay, so flying creature, uh, I should bring in my herbivore. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you're going down, buddy. <laughs> Four attack. He blocked one, but he should still go down. And there he goes. He is down. Awesome! Victory! Do the victory dance! Come on, man! Okay, received 60 DNA! Okay, Alonqua against Alonqua! Sorry guys, I must have started recording that like right after I picked... Oh, okay, this was the one... I, I started recording at the end. I apologize about that. But this is just a tournament one. It wasn't any part of the regular mission. So I was just trying out one of the tournaments. Ah, okay. So then you would spin the wheel and collect. And I never get lucky with these. I never get any of the cool packs. And guys, that's bringing us up pretty much to the end of the episode. Make sure you guys click like. And I had a fu awesome time making this for you guys. And if you wait till the end of the video, there's an awesome end card with a lot more fun videos. Well, I hope to see you guys soon.